Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I would like to show you how to farm legendary gear in Dying Light 2. Uh, before doing so I'd like to give a shout out to Respawn Gentleman. Um, I got this information from him and I learned a lot of stuff actually watching his content so I'm gonna leave a link in the description below make sure you check out his videos once you're done with this one. Alright so anyways what you want to start doing is you want to find out where the bazaar is. I think everybody knows where that is. Um, you head north of the bazaar to the first safe zone that you find. All right, and pretty much northwest of it, you will find a legendary encounter that will respawn every five minutes or so. All right, so this is where the place is. This is the safe zone, and that is the legendary encounter. As you can see, the legendary encounter icon, 50 meters on the top of my screen, and you're gonna find a bunch of renegades that you're gonna have to kill. <laughs> Scraps are always useful. That's like the thing that I run low on the most, to be honest. So, what you want to do is, there usually are gas tanks here that you might want to take advantage of. That guy who's trying to open the box usually is the one who's going to alert um, other renegades nearby. And you're going to have to fight 10 if he does so. If you allow him to do so, you will have to fight 10 renegades instead of um, these five here. What I like to do is, I got some firecrackers, uh, decoys, noisemakers, whatever you want to call them, and I throw one right there. Make sure they don't see you, it helps. Alright. I probably do not want to throw that many, but I do anyways. And then I want to take care of this guy first. And then this guy right here. These guys die really fast, and they are very annoying, they do a lot of damage. So, you really want to make sure you take them out first. Oh, um, there's an archer somewhere. Where is he? I think they're here. Right. You want to take out these archers first. So you start off with the guy who's um, on top of the truck trying to open the bus. And then you go for the archers next. And then for the rest. Leave the gang leader for last. Leave the gang leader for last. How did you not turn into a zombie? I have no idea. That's why I don't fight them first. This guy and the uh, and the gang leader are usually the toughest ones. So, all right. Well, I don't really care. They usually drop shitty items anyway. So, let's open up the box. This little chest right here. Oh. All right. So while we're trying to open up this chest right here, um. All right, that happened faster than I thought it would. Hopefully it's for me. Oh, finally, let's check it out, guys. Uh, before we check it out, let's not waste time. Yeah. Because what we want to do is you want to make sure as soon as you loot this chest right here, you want to make sure it despawns. And to do so, you just really want to just kind of get away from it. All right, you see that? Get out of here. You land right about here. I think this is a good spot. Alright, 
Now that is completely out of your sight. It should have despawned, to be honest. Yeah. As you can see, it's no longer there. So, we can get out of here now. All you want to do is return back to the safe zone. And be patient for about five minutes or so. I usually like to stand right around here. Sometimes I jump off and wait here. But as long as it despawns and you're and you're um, yeah. around this area right here, you should be fine. You do not want to be too close to it because they will not respawn that way. So just wait, chill. I mean, you might want to go around killing a few zombies. I did not complete my rampage event. I found out that. <coughs> sorry, I found out that um, the. The rewards were really disappointing, to be honest. I think it was like one, like, two-handed weapon. I hate two-handed weapons. Like, I, every time I see one, I just like want to throw it away. I mean, I probably can complete it if I really want to, but I really don't care at this point. Alright, you know, you can jump around like that, just like, clear out some rooftops. <laughs> These are usually empty. What is going on? Another bug? Uh, get out of here. likely we'll have to continue waiting for a little bit longer. I have no idea why this is the only way to get legendary loot. Wouldn't it be nicer and smarter? Oh well, as you can see, five minutes have passed and they're back already. So, let's go take him out. I like to go this way, honestly. This is my favorite way to start it up. <laughs> there are better ways to do of doing this, to be honest. These are the guys you want to take out first. Now look at this guy. Check it out, guys. He snapped out of it. See guys, they're really easy to take out. You don't need a bow or the ballista cross or whatever it is. And there you go. 
just make sure you take out the archer and that other guy who alerts um, nearby enemies. So if you do that, it's really easy. And with enough practice, um, you'll be able to spot out who you need to take out right, uh, right away. Oh, we, we snapped one. I guess I like number three anyways more than four, so... It has to be like right here somewhere, right? Alright. We got it this time, I hope. I don't get it. Artifact X, all right. Let's start dropping shit. I like this one. Look at that, they're all damage versus infected. It's so hard to choose something to drop now. I guess this one is gonna have to go. Alright, let's check out what we got. That's not bad. Not legendary, but not bad. And let's see what we got earlier, actually. Was it here? Or was it here? There it is. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade, all right. That's an upgrade. So, we got pretty nice items this time. I like having double lightning sometimes. Or double spark, we like to call it that. Is that is this my look at that guys it does more damage than my legendaries that's a legendary well that is a level eight and this is a level nine so fair enough can't wait i'm probably gonna find i mean if this is doing nearly 600 already if i find a legendary proper one with the proper stats hopefully around 600 plus damage i'm gonna be very lucky anyways guys this is pretty much the end of the video i think you've learned um, pretty much the most efficient way to farm legendary gear. I think they should turn Dark Hollows, Forsaken Stores, Convoys, I think they all should have a chance of dropping, you know, legendary or just artifact gear. That is level 8 or 9, nothing lower than that, because sometimes I get gear that's like two levels lower than me, and that kind of sucks from the convoys in all these places. I hope they change that. Um, if you have any other opinions or any other suggestions, please uh, just tell me what you think in the comments, and I always get back to everyone. So I might take some time, sometimes I, I might take time sometimes, but you know, I, I do get busy with real life here and there. So keep that in mind. Anyways, thanks everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe.